Which one's your favourite? Oh, I do like the scissor one. The scissor Which one, one do you like? I like this one. The, uh, that is really Yuletide pretty, balloon. yeah. I mean, it's called Yuletide, but there's nothing Christmassy about it. Oh, no. So it Floral. looks pretty good. It's lovely. Oh, Elaine said good morning, everyone. Good morning, oh, Elaine. Hi, Elaine. You're on it today. Yeah, it is. <laughs> We're just using this bit of time a couple of minutes early so we can get all into shot and everything. Yeah, make sure everything's working. Yeah, we just can't As see As we do us. every time. <laughs> yes, we can't see us yet. Oh, Jane's with us. Hi, Jane. Morning. Oh, Angie's with us as well. We're just uh, finding us. Finding us on YouTube. Bear with us. Yeah. <laughs> right. Here we go. So it looks all good in the shot. Not going to be it. We're just manoeuvring a little bit. We're all good. Thank you, Elaine. Ooh. Hope everyone else is... Doing well. Oh, we're all got it's very online. exciting. Making your own tissue yeah. box cover. That's quite a nice clear picture, then. It is a good picture, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. So we'll just wait for a few more people if there's yeah. anybody else who's going to join. See, Heather's been very busy making all the the, the tissue box covers. So is it is anybody using these uh, uh, this tissue box, the clean um Kleenex Cherish? tissue box or are you using a different one so this is the kleenex cherish one this is what i've made all mine with to fit yeah. yeah brilliant it's quite a common one i think a lot of people buy it's only a pound in the supermarkets yeah it's all right yeah, it's it. so. yeah it's proper good oh deb's with us now morning deb oh, is everybody God. going to be sewing along with us or are you just watching are you going to do it later it will work if you have got a different tissue box. You can use that as well. You might yeah. need more fabric than I stated in the list. If it's a big rectangular yeah. one or something, just get some fat quarters, something to practice. Yeah. Put your measurements, yeah. Um, teach you how to measure it. Should be that, should work for that as well. Exciting. Oh, hi, Rachel. Morning. Feels like half ten's come it around does. quite quickly, doesn't it? it? Does. Hi, Carol. Hello, Carol. Morning. Thank you for joining us, everyone. We're dead excited. We are. Oh, oh can you hear you? <laughs> Catherine, oh, hi. Jay's is sewing along, hopefully, if I can keep up. <laughs> we'll do well, our best to yes, go relatively slow. Absolutely. Oh, Catherine's just watching today and so a bit later. Yeah, it's, I mean, nice. it's not It's not complicated. There's no. just a bit, it's just a bit of measuring and some... Yeah. Once you know how it goes together, yeah. it's dead easy. They go together then. Quite Sometimes quick. it is good to just watch it through. It is. And then... So once you've, made, once you've made your first one, yeah. everybody will want one. I know yeah. my mum's already ordered two. Oh, wow. <laughs> she wants, she's got this cherished box and yeah. she has the uh, she has a rectangular one as oh, well. Oh, wow. So you're so, going to be doing... Yeah, so she wants to... Well, she'll acquire one of my yeah. samples. Oh, yeah. Oh, which one are you going to give her? This one, probably. Yeah, it's nice, mm. that one. This one. Oh, Elaine says, I shall, I shall sew along without interruptions. Oh, that's always Excellent. a good thing. Yeah, definitely. Hi, Karen. Morning. So, shall we get started? Have we got yeah, quite a few 20, people? I think there's 23 there. Yeah. Okie dokie. Oh, let's that's messages. get started then. Okie doke. So, so, would you like to show it? Yes. So, I think I'm going to sneeze. are you going to sneeze already? At least it's thinking about it. So, yeah, yeah, this is the box that we're going to be covering today. And hopefully I can I can pop it on nice and easy. Look how right, easy so that I've goes made, on. I've made three. This one has just a little bit of room in it. Just yeah, a little bit of room in bit it. Bit of wiggle room. Um, and then you've got one that's quite snug. I'm going to. This is the one we're going to do. The one with a bit of a bit of wiggle a wiggle, room. A little bit of wiggle room that in it. So that allows for if your seams aren't so great. Yes. But, um, this <laughs> one's quite goes. snug. This fits really snug. So if you're good at getting a nice straight even seam. Yeah. And you want a snug fit. There you go. Uh, I made this one a little bit short. <laughs> it doesn't first, matter. That was my first one. It looks like part of it, the purple. It does. So that's a bit snug. And then this one I made even a little bit bigger. So if you wanted to make it a little bit bigger to accommodate other like square. Yeah, bigger, bigger. Di different boxes, different. If you use different ones, you don't always use the same one. So it's a bit baggy. It it's just a bit looser, easier. but once yeah. it sat down, you don't really you don't notice, notice it. You don't it. really notice that. That's really pretty, that. That's the last subscription box fabrics. Oh, wow. This yeah. is a subscription box fabrics from quite some time ago. Yeah. Um, and that was the Yuletide Bloom. Yeah. They're, from... they're all pretty. Yeah. So. So are we all ready? 
Yes. Can we, start? Can we start? Where are we going to start then? So, show the piece that we've got. If we're doing the square cube. Yeah. Well, it's not a cube. It is slightly rectangular, these. So, I said you needed three pieces of fabric that's measured six by 14. Yeah. Um, doesn't matter if yours are bigger, but you, that was like the minimum that you needed, yeah. really. If you've got a different box, you might need more yeah. fabric. But the way you work it out will all work. Work the same. out, yeah. Okay. okay. So the first thing you need to do is get your box, get your tissue box. Yeah. And we're going to measure it. So you need a ruler. And okay. you need a piece of pen and a paper if you've got one. If you haven't got one, get yourself a pen and paper pen. for your measurements. Right. Okay. So even though I've got these measurements written down, yeah. Um, you need to know how to do it if your yeah. box is different. Definitely. Okay. Morning, Claire. <laughs> so, right. So what we're going to do, we're going to measure the top. So you're going to we we'll do the top first. Yeah. Measure the top. Yeah. So, so that's... write these measurements down. Draw a draw a square. Yeah. Can you see this? <laughs> we've got our yeah, instructions. Yeah, with a couple of minutes, with, with a few seconds lag on the thing, so we've yeah. got to look up there. Yeah. So draw yourself a square, and then you can write them in. That's a good idea. So you've write got your, your top and your sides. Write, write your measurements yeah. in. Clever. So okay. measure measure your top so and write that down. The top. Yeah. <clears> our top <throat> is four inch by. Four and a half. Four and a half, Four yeah. And a half, yeah, yeah, just get the closest two. Yeah. Don't go smaller, go just a little go bit. bigger. Yeah. Yeah. So write them measurements down so. on the piece of a piece of paper. Yeah. Um measure your top first, so both okay. ways. And then we're going to add a seam allowance. Right. So I wrote down on a piece of paper, have I written it on here so you can see? Maybe I've not. <laughs> Might have written it on the last piece. So I'd write down. Let me just write it here. It should be the right way around. On oh, YouTube. there we go. We've got some. So if you draw yourself a box, yeah, and so you measure four and a half yeah. by by four, four, yeah, yeah, and then you need to add a quarter of an inch seam allowance on this side, this side. So that would make it to five. So yeah. I would write four add a quarter. For people that are not good at maths, like add me. <laughs> a quarter for your seam allowances. Yeah, on both sides. Now, yeah. If you want that snug fit, yeah, and you can get your seams right, yeah. Then you don't need to add anything else. Right. If you want a little bit of room, a wiggle, a tiny little bit the of wiggle, wiggle room, room, which was this yeah. one, yeah. then add another quarter of an inch. Right, okay. And so that gives you a bit of wiggle room. Gives you a bit, which, yes. And it fits nice and it looks nice. Yeah. So, But if you want a snug fit like the previous one, yeah. you don't need to do that. Right. Maybe do the one with a bit of extra room first. Yeah, give it and a then go. And just add that up. Four, add a quarter and a quarter, quarter is half, half, plus a quarter is four and three quarters. Yeah. Okay. Right, so then I would write that there, four and three quarters. So that's our total for the top. For that side, yeah. and then the top is four and a half. So again, I'd write it down, add the quarter, add the quarter, and then the quarter. An extra room. quarter, yeah. Yeah, so that'll be five and a quarter. Yeah. That'll measure. Because obviously, yeah, that one's slightly okay. bigger. So are we... So are we all okay with measuring our top so far? So you're adding all your quarters on, a lot of quarters yeah. here. Well, if you use a different seam allowance, you see, yeah. if you use centimetres, you might want to, to write, yeah. or six millimetres, yeah. seven millimetres, whatever you think is a quarter of an inch. If you want to use a half inch seam allowance, you yeah. might need a bit more fabric, but you can do it with a half an inch. Yeah. So just do it this way, half an inch, but only add a quarter of an inch yeah. for, the, for the excess. For the excess, right. For, for, for a little bit of excess. And yeah. um, so this could be half, this could be half, but the excess is keep to a, a quarter, quarter, otherwise it will be too big. I think it's better to go slightly bigger this at first. This one, this bigger one, I added half an inch. All right. As so you did. On that one. So you did your you did the four, quarter, your measurement plus a yeah. quarter and a quarter. And then a half. And then I did a half as opposed right. to a quarter. And that's a little bit loose, right. that one. But if you've got yeah. a bigger box as yeah. well. It, it would work. You know, if you get one next time and it's yeah. a bit bigger, then it will, it might I think it well. doesn't matter even if it's a bit smaller. So, where's everybody up to? We all measured our top. Give us a thumbs up or yeah. something when you're, oh, when you've all it. done that. Done your maths. Then you're happy with that. <laughs> yeah. Let us know. Yeah, I think it's all right being a bit bigger. Yeah. I think I would prefer to go bigger than smaller from the first one. Yeah. Just then. You right. can get a feel for it. Oh, yeah, and just put a thumbs up. Right. Brilliant. Oh, we've got a heart then. Oh, lovely. <laughs> Thank you for sent the heart. <laughs> so once we've done that... Yeah. Are we all there? Anybody else? Give it a thumbs up. We'll give it a few seconds. Oh, we've got... Oh, Elaine gave us a, a, a big hand. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> like a wave. Never seen that before. Right. Shall we move on to the next bit so then? So we'll move on to the next bit. So are we measuring... 
the so next we'll, we'll cut them. We'll cut them, we'll out, cut them first. out first. So then you okay. don't get lost in the pieces. That's a good idea. Okay, so you've got three pieces. Now, the reason I've chosen three colours, you could just do them all one. But yeah. because this box is why is is how it's different here yes than it is it's, here. it's just slightly it's half an yeah. inch there's half an inch yeah. difference so these two sides are yeah. going to be different to, to these, these two, two sides. sides so if you've got yeah. three colors you're less likely to get your pieces mixed up yeah okay, okay? so decide what you want where right. so we're going to put the cream yeah the plain cream this is from a bundle do you want to show the bundle yeah show the bundle yeah here we go so this is the bundle we've used today a nice one that so you've got a linen texture brown you've got floral you've got the cream and you've got the gerberas is that the right gerberas? yeah yeah there you go and this is non-directional so it doesn't really yes. matter we've also got other bundles yeah. as well which are really nice so if you're using a directional fabric just yeah. decide which way around you, you want, want your direction to be now yeah. for me these sit like that but yeah. for you they might sit like that yeah so if you've got a directional fabric just make sure when you cut them out that your direction is Go pointing in. Right but we're way. using a plain one, yeah, so it yes. doesn't matter. Okay. Okay, so you need to now cut two pieces out at that five, size. Right. Okay. So I would fold it over. Yeah. Um, and then cut two pieces. You oh, can right. cut two okay. pieces at the same time. Oh, it could that's be more epic. Yeah. Right. Draw it on. I would maybe advise use your your ruler. Yeah. And a pen. You yeah, just use, use that. A biro pen. We're going to use a biro so you can see. Where's number one on here? Then we're on the other side, aren't we? Line up with the. Uh, the With the fold. edge, yeah. Mm. Okay. Right. And however you do it, draw <laughs> so, that rectangle on. Go, oh, okay. Yeah. A bit of, a bit I'm of not telling you how to do it, you do it how you right, do it. Right, so we're doing, say I would just go in and cut me. You see, and I'd be, can I just say, yeah, I'd be more on. frugal with my fabric. Oh, so if you needed a bit extra, Ooh, you know, if it fits within, yeah, I'd fold to what it fits within and just measure it with that. Right. So okay. as long as that measures at least five, five and a half. Five. So shall I cut it five and a half? And then you can cut it down, yeah. then, can't you? Draw, so just, I'll just draw that three, rectangle three, on. Four, five. So, f so we're going five and a half one way. Jane yeah, says, I've got the same box as you, but don't have a ruler, so I'll just follow you. Yeah. Can you please tell me again what size you've used for the top box? Right, uh, for the top of the box, we're cutting five, uh, four and three quarters. This is what I would say is tall, the height. Four and three quarters height by five and a quarter. That's the size of the piece yeah. we're cutting out. You want two. So that's my five and a half going that way. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. yeah. And then we're going for... Cut that first cut and it, then yeah. cut it down. Good idea. I'll have to stand up for this, so <laughs> just excuse me. <clears throat> so we're going for five and a half. Oh, I've never used one of these grocery cutters before. No. No for me. I use. I tend to use the, the the lines on my ruler more than I use my mat. So discard them. We don't need them. Right. Mat, so still keep it folded. Yeah. Yeah. Because you can then just slip that in half afterwards. Yeah. And we're we'll going four <clears throat> and three quarters. Four and three quarters. So that's one, two, three, four. Trim then... one edge first. Make sure it's, it's straight. Just straight. Right. Let me turn it down then. Uh, we're gonna go there. It's different doing it like this. I can also give you a tip if you're not, uh, no, go on, chop that, chop that yeah. off, you chop that off. And then if you're just doing the measurements from your ruler, yeah. I would then turn that round. Yeah. What size is this bit you're doing? Four and three quarter. I would line up the four and three quarter oh. mark there. You'd Instead of counting it on yeah. your board. Line, make sure it's flush across the yeah. top, four and three quarter there, and then yeah. just cut oh, there. Oh, wow. That's a really good tip. <clears throat> And then you can just split, split them. them up. Right. Just run your scissors down then. Okay. Or cut it, per... crease it, and then open yeah. it up and cut it with your ruler. Oh, that's a good idea. I think scissors are the one thing. Big scissors. big scissors are the one thing we didn't put down. No. <laughs> <laughs> There's always something. Yeah, is everyone doing all right? Just let us yeah. know. So just open that up and cut that down with your ruler. Oop. If you push right up against... Push right up against that crease with your ruler. Right. I don't line it up on my board. Yeah. I very rarely oh, use wow. lines on my mat. Line and then push it up like that. Push it up against it to yeah. the crease. Make sure it's on the, the crease. crease. Yeah. So you don't go over it. There you go. Yeah. All right. Make sure everything's straight. I always line up with my lines on my, yeah. on my ruler. Oh, see, I always... Yes. Uh, you do it how you do yeah. it, though. But that's how I do it. I, I, I love my, uh, my lines on my mat. 
That's why I don't use my lines on my mat. Because they move. Because you can nudge it in. Make sure it lines up with a line oh. on you. No, go back to where you're doing. Put it on the line. Yeah. Yeah. Put your ruler on that line now on your mat. But make sure this top edge lines up with a line. Like that? Yeah, so yeah. you know it's straight. Yeah. There we go. Right, how are we all doing? Have we all cut our pieces? So that's your top pieces. Yeah. So just set them aside. Okay. For now. So just, yeah, Karen's giving us a thumbs up. So I'll that's your top that pieces. Over there. If you need to do, if you were doing it all in one fabric, yeah. just put a little sticker on or a piece of paper. Just so you know, the top. that's the top. Yeah. That's the top. And then you're going to measure your sides once you're there. Oh, Jane's giving us a thumbs up. Oh, yeah, we're getting lots of thumbs up. Shall we go for the next okay, bit? Okay, so we're basically going to work the same way, but there's just a couple of different sizes on this. Yeah. So um, you're going to measure. We've got two different sides on this one. Yeah. So you need to measure two. So do this one. So again, measure the side, the depth. You just need to measure the depth, really. That the way. The width across the top yeah, will, be the same. will be the same as the longer so, one. that's looking at four... And one, two, three, three quarters. So, oh, that's not a good square. <laughs> uh, let me four do that. One, two, three. Yeah. Right, so it's what? Four, four and, three and three quarters. quarters. So this height will be four and three quarters. That's your measurement. Yeah. All right. So for your height, and then your width will be the, the same, same as, as the longer way. one, the yeah. wider one. Yeah. So that's the wider so size. So that was... If you're doing the shorter one, it needs to be the same as the shorter size. Yeah. All right, so you don't, because then you don't need to work so, that one out. Don't have to out. measure it again, yeah. No. So it was four and a half, So it's the it? four, so that's the four and, and a half. half. Yeah. So that'll be, we already worked that out. Yeah. So that so one's five, five and, and a quarter. quarter. Yeah. And then on the side, you need a quarter of an inch, add a quarter of an inch for the top. Yeah. And then we're going to add three quarters of an inch at, at the bottom, because we're doing a folded up hem. Yes, like a double hem. Like a, a, a folded hem. So you need three quarters of an inch to wait for it to catch up. <laughs> yeah, I know. Just look as they can. Oh, we're right, not there yeah. yet. So this, you need three quarters of an inch. So you typically need half an inch or so. Yeah. But there's a, if you've got an extra quarter of an inch, it gives a bit of it's wiggle room. A bit of room. wiggle room again. We like yeah. our and wiggle room. And then it won't be too short. <laughs> yeah. It okay. takes into consideration the folds and yeah. things like that. So you need to add on a quarter at the top. So, so do again, it like you did it down. before. Four yeah. and three quarter. A quarter inch for your top seam. Yeah. For this top seam. And then three quarters of an inch for the bottom. Right. Okay, so four and three quarters, add a quarter, is five, add three quarters, quarters five, five and three quarters. quarters. So just put five and three quarters there. Okay. okay. So for that side, you want to cut out two pieces, five and a quarter by five and three quarters. Which now this is, use? if you were using a directional fabric, yeah. you do need to make sure it's the right way right. up. Right, yeah. So it's standard, right. yeah. So five and three quarters, the depth. So it would be pointing Should upwards like this. Yeah. All right, so you pick which one. I think on the bigger side, the, Go the, 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 the bigger print. one, yeah. So again, so shall I fold it again in half? Uh, like draw it on the back. Do. I mean, you yeah. can draw it out on the back or you just cut it with your thing. Some people might like to draw it. Some people might like to just cut it. Yeah, see, I'm a, I'm a just a cutter. I'm just a cutter. I'm just a cutter. <laughs> Although if I'm doing a big piece of something yeah, and sometimes. I have to draw quite a few pieces on a piece yeah. of fabric, I will draw them all out and then cut them so, to make sure they I'm fit. I'm looking backwards here. So is that part of my... Uh, a line there. That's uh, yeah. Yeah, it's part of your eight, eight, isn't it? Yeah. That's your eight, your eight inches, isn't it? So that's yeah. One. Mm -hmm. so it's from this way. In fact, I wonder if I could turn the board round. Yeah. Do whatever makes it easier. We're gonna go that way, and we're gonna count backwards. Right. So I'll string, straighten that one up first. Hope I don't cut anything wrong. Yeah. Always straighten your edge up first. Right, so first one we're cutting five and three quarters, aren't we? Five and three quarters is your height. Right. So if so you cut your, going, maybe cut your width, width you're going first, that way. Cut yeah. your width first, which one, is five and a quarter. Two, three, four, five and a quarter. Do you want to double check though? Draw yeah. a line down it and then just measure it with your ruler. That's what I would do to be on the safe side. I measure that. Yeah, five yeah. and a quarter, yeah. And then you could fold it in half and cut them both at the same time. All right, so you'd go that way. Yeah. Yeah. 
And then what would you do? Fold it onto on the line. The line. On the line. Oh, yeah. You could go a little bit past the line. Yeah. And then you can cut that cut line that afterwards bit. with your rotary cutter. So cut that just a smidge off. I tend to do that as well. Rather than run my scissors through it, yeah. I just go a little bit further on and then I can just chop that end bit off. So I'll cut off that bit. Yeah. Let me actually line that bit up. I know people ask yeah. how we cut out, so this gives you a bit yeah. of an insight into how we cut out. I always just dive right in. Sometimes it works and sometimes This it is why sometimes I like to draw it on. Yeah. Um, because then you've not cut it. Yeah. yeah. If you go wrong. Let's line that one up there. Like I say, I'll line that up with the top. You need two. Two. Am I right? There we go. Okay, is this straight this time? I, hope I can it's see straight. your line. Hang on. Let's just do it again. So I'm yep. doing it from this angle. So I'll just, yeah. Check it on your ruler. Line five and three quarter inches up with the edge, right. that edge. Am I right? Check everything's right? Yeah, that's yeah, we're all right. Yeah, that's that's all okay. Right. Yeah. Now, now, at this point, yeah. Turn them over and write T at the top. Yes. You've just turned them upside down. Turn so if that was direct, <laughs> if that was directional I'm now, thinking upside down. Point it up, turn that way. That's then it. you don't turn your fabric yeah. upside down. And write a T. Write a T. Look the top. Write a T. Yeah. And mark the centre while you're there. T. You might as well mark the centre while you're there. It just makes things easier T. lining up. So find the fold it in half, find the centre and mark that centre. Do it on the wrong side because we're going to be sewing yeah. on the wrong right. side. So would you just put yeah just put a little it. line just put a little yeah. line at the top doesn't matter at the bottom There's just at the top one. how are we all doing we're keeping up are we all there i've never done one of these before so this is all no she's so me. chloe's doing it chloe's yeah. doing it with you yeah she's learning with you there we go. Okay, so, so we can set those two aside. Put them aside. Okay, we're doing quite well here. And then we'll do the other side. When okay. Up. So we're going to be doing the smaller so side. So just do exactly the same thing on that side. Yeah. You already know how deep it is. It's yeah. five and three quarters with the with the seam allowance and everything. Um, and you know the width. Oh yeah, so it's that way. And you already know. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. You yeah, already so it's know all the same, width. Same, isn't it? Yeah. So this one will be four. It's the height this time, isn't height. it? This one. We've done that as height, that as width. Right. So, so that is four so and three uh four and three quarters by five and three quarters size piece you need. Right, okay. So the five and three quarters is the same, that's the height. height. So that's the direction oh, oh. of your fabric. Yeah. <laughs> it does get a bit uh, Yeah. I know confusing. it sounds confusing, but that's your five and three yeah. quarters because that's the height on your tissue box. So I'm gonna cut the five and three quarters first. Cut your five yeah. and three quarters first so your yeah. piece of fabric's tall enough. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, and one, two, three. Five, three, draw the line on that. I quite like that, drawing that. Actually, I'd do the height first because you've you got a deeper piece of fabric. So we're going to go. Do the four and three quarters. Four, four and three. Was it four and three quarters? Yeah, four, four and three, three quarters. quarters. Right, so that's one, two, three, four, one, two. Was it on the top? Three. Let me just double check. <laughs> Well, that was the measurements for the top piece, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Yeah. So, so four, four and three quarters. quarters. And then you can do the depth. Yeah, yeah, that's a good Otherwise, idea. Otherwise, your piece you of fabric could end up being... It won't be, but it could be if you're fitting it into a small piece of fabric. Yeah. So that's four. Yeah, that's four. Four and three quarters. If you measure your next one from there at four and three yeah. quarters, then you can cut both at once, can't you? Yeah. Or oh, you can cut the end bit on. Yeah, good idea. Should actually go. I've got lots of shortcuts for making <laughs> cutting out faster. Do you know, I'm still learning all them. So we're going four and one, two, three. So just the marker there. And I can join them up, can't I? Four and one, two, three. 
And then you can just cut that end piece off and then you're just working with these two. And then before you cut that one, yeah. just turn it yeah. and cut it to the five and three quarters. Measure Straight five and three quarters across. and then you're yeah. cutting them both down at the same time. Straighten off that edge again. Mm. No, you shouldn't no, need to. Is it straight? Or, straight? We'll turn that round. Because yeah, that edge that is straight, way, yeah. isn't it? Is that edge straight? I think so. It's straight to me. What do you think? So it's five. As long as it sits within all your lines and everything. Yeah. So it's uh, five and three quarters. Yeah. It? One, two, three. Oh, just, yeah. And then you can just cut that off. Wow. Good way of using your fabric, that, isn't it? Mm. It's quicker as well. Yeah. And then just cut it down the middle. Just, yeah. Cut that line. Cut that line. Really Sorry, Miss Little on. Sizes. Right, carry that. So that's on this small side, the, the narrower side. It's five and three quarters inch tall height, like the other side was. And then five and a quarter inch. Uh, is that right? Hang on. <laughs> Five and three quarters high by what was that? Four and three quarters Four and three wide. Four quarters, yeah. Because yeah, that's the, the top. Four and three quarters. Draw it all out on a piece of paper. Can you see I've drawn mine out to get the sizes that I want? Oh, Lucy said, can we get a list of the sizes, please, Heather? I can write them in the comments. Right. There we go. While we're waiting for everybody. Yeah. Let me see. Right. The top was <laughs> right, so the top was well, that was the top one so the yeah. total measurement was five and a quarter um height no width that's width it's normally the other way around <laughs> five four because it's not it's because it's a rectangular yeah, top so as long as you not, cut them yeah depends which way around you want the box so i'm saying that's width and height but it might be the other way around yeah. for you. so as long as you cut that and make your directional fabric and then that's the sides yeah oh we've got one we've side got the big side that measures. measurements uh that was the big side five and a quarter by five and three quarters was it let's have a look so i've got yeah, five and a quarter. Ha uh, yeah, so it's height. Yeah. Height would be five and three quarters by five and a quarter width. Oh, I don't think we've chopped the other way on this one, have we? Yeah, did, did, yeah. yeah, we did it's it. It's five and a quarter, yeah. not four. And a, you were measuring four and a quarter, then it's five oh. and a quarter. That way. Five and a quarter. Did you do the five and three quarters that way? Maybe you didn't. Maybe I didn't. What are we up to? That's five and a... Right, that's five <laughs> and three quarters, that yeah. The other way. So I don't think you did. I don't think I you don't cut think it, we cut I don't the other think way, cut it down. It's a lot of cutting. That way. That's five and a quarter. Yeah. So that's your width across the top. Yeah. So, so you need sorted. to do, you need to cut your five and three quarters. Five and three down. quarters that, that way. way. I knew there was something missing from that piece. So that's, uh, so you need two of them, two of them. And then the other one was uh, five and three quarters by four and three I didn't want to give exact necessarily yeah. exact measurements because you need to know how to do it for yourself you need to know how to do it as well if you're doing because some people said they were using the different boxes yeah right I'll just cut mine down just bear with me one second Bye. Can you see that? Wait till we, we, we catch up. There we go. Hang on, down a bit. There we go. There we go. Can you see that? Right. Oh, are we all doing okay? So you should have your two pieces for the top and two pieces for one side and two pieces for another side. 
I just hold them there while people get. Yeah. Some people have got the same box of as us. Yeah. yeah. Some people did comment to us say, will it work for a different box? Yeah. That's why I was showing you how to do the measurements rather than just give you measurements so that you know how to measure it for another one. So it's basically measuring your boxes and adding Yeah, adding seam and, allowances yeah. and things. So there we That's go. pretty all right, actually. So do the top, right the top on the short side. Then because the yeah. sides look very similar, yeah. right the top, T for top on the bottom, back of them as well. And, and mark the centre. Yeah, mark the centre. Top. So the top is on the shorter side. There's the centre for that one. Oh, Shayla's with us. She's got her thumbs up. It's just all about your measuring. There's that one. Okay. Where's my tops? My tops for them ones are there. So we're going that way up. Right. So before we go any further, uh, with the top we're going to do the top next we're just going to mark a quarter inch seams on the the two all the side panels as well okay all right so put your top bits aside for a minute so we're not using our plane no pieces. is everybody with us yeah oh elaine thinks she's got it yeah, yeah. Right. if you saw those sizes you can then go back and write them all down yeah. uh, lucy i think i held it there long enough for lucy to <laughs> yeah. see them put in the comments oh yeah elaine's got a thumbs up so once you've cut your pieces right so turn them over yeah make sure you put a t for top so you know which bit you're doing it on i've put a little t there and i've marked yeah. the center line okay so we want to measure in a quarter of an inch from this edge a quarter of an inch from that edge and just put a mark and then the same going down as well yeah. okay. because we're not going to sew all the way to the end so we're going to measure this sounds very complicated <laughs> yeah, but it's totally. not because you do, if you've not yeah. done one before so a quarter of an inch there so from that edge is yeah that right? just put yeah. a mark down so you'll be able to see it when I, i'll be able to see it when i stick it on the sewing machine that's, that's there it you go. and then one going down as one well going down so we're going that's one two three four so a quarter inch there that's that it right? so you'll have yeah. a little box on each corner yeah and do that on do all it, four sides on, yeah. you don't need to do it Not at the, the bottom, bottom just at the top on all four sides you don't need to do it on the lid So that's that one, and then two other sides as yeah. well, isn't it? Yeah. So quarter there. And a quarter there. These are really quite quick to make. Once you've made one, yeah. you can be storming away and making a, make a few. You know what you're doing, don't you? Yeah. Because if you sell at craft fairs and things, you could buy yourself some boxes of tissues. That's a good idea. And just cover them. And it's a gift in itself then. Yeah. Let me do a quarter and put that bit in a bit more. Quarter there. There we go. So that's them two. Yeah, I think it's once you've done your first. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously you get better, don't you? Yeah. So we're going... And if you're like me, you buy eye your quarter of an inch because I could have sewn that many quarter yeah. of an inches. You just mark on Some quarter of an inch. I can I can do by eye, but other things I've just marked it that way. And <laughs> other things we I all can. work differently. Yeah, we do. We do definitely. I could do um, a hem by quarter of an inch, mm. like, you know, eye it, mm. eyeball it, but give us a thumbs up when you've all yeah. done that. them two one more can i just say you can use all this method mm. for making a sewing machine cover all right you make a hole in the top of your handle yeah if you want you put your handle through it's basically making a sewing machine cover you just actually it is, it's it. or a toaster it, yeah. cover you could do a toaster cover without the hole in the middle yeah this is basically these measurements and things the way you've measured this you could make a toaster cover a sewing machine cover anything you wanted to cover over there we go that's actually really clever there we go so i've marked all my corners 
That so one went a bit astray <laughs> there. It's all right, it'll be fine. So you can just set those aside. We're going to work yeah, on the... Uh, on the top. Right, we need... Hang on, before we do that, I've yeah. got a bit of paper. We need to... Because I haven't got my cardboard top. Or to draw around. So we need okay. a bit of paper for drawing through. We didn't plan ahead with that didn't one. That. <laughs> I did say it on the message yesterday. That we need some paper. Right. There's always something you forget. Shall I get that little Hang piece? Hang on, I'll get a piece of paper. You sure? There should be something somewhere. There's a little piece here if you want. Here we go. Just, do you want me to grab it? Really? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, we found something. There you go. You can do it on the back there we go. Out. So what we're doing. Right, so... Basically, open the side of your box if you oh. haven't got the cardboard. If you're using just a box of tissues yeah. you've already got, yeah. just open the side of your box and your tissues come out in one big... Do you know I've never opened a no, side of a tissue box? just come box. out in big, one big yeah. watch. So take your tissues out yeah. and then put your box upside down on, on your piece paper. of paper and trace that onto a piece of paper if you haven't got your piece of cardboard. <clears throat> and then you can cut that out and you've got a template. Oh, brilliant. Right. There you go. So there you go, give me that. So you cut that out. I'll put the tissues back. Yeah. It's weird seeing them open, I don't know. I've never looked at it. How they're folded in and everything. Yeah. I suppose you could just then replace them, can't you? Mm. I'll just sell tape it back up. I'll use the inside of this one. So that way, any whatever shape you've got. There we go. If you had a new box, you could just use the one that you take out the top. But if you're yeah. using one you've already got, you need, just need to make one. So when you've done that, when you're up right. to speed. Draw your circle. Are you rectangle? And then, then if you don't want to do that, yeah. you could just draw a rectangle. Right, okay. You could do a rectangle and yeah. do it a little bit smaller than the hole. If you struggle sewing curves, yeah. you could do the rectangle a little bit smaller than the hole yeah. um, and just have a rectangular hole instead oh. um, to pull them through. To pull through, yeah. Mm. Okay. Right. Are we up to... Are we, are, are, a few thumbs ups. Yeah. So are we moving on? Moving have we got on. that? Yeah. So you need to find the centre right. of this. So fold it in half both ways and then mark the centre and poke a hole through the middle. Okay. You can just do it with a pen or a pair of scissors or it's just so you can see when you're going to line it up. Let me do another fold that way. Right. So mark the centre and then just poke your scissors or a pokey tool or whatever you've got through the middle. I'll just do um, it doesn't have to be, you can even just push a pin through it afterwards. It's just so oh, you yeah. make it easier for lining lining up. There we go. All right. okay, this is so thing. then on one piece of your top, yeah. get one piece of your top and on the reverse, doesn't matter with ours because it's the same. Yeah. But if you've got a pattern fabric and it's coloured on one side, turn over to the reverse mm -hmm. and fold it in half, find the centre and mark the centre. So we're just folding it in one way. Both ways. Both find, ways yeah, because yeah. you need like to find, yeah, to find yeah. the middle. Tell me to stop if you're falling behind. Right. Uh, and put a mark. Could it be anything? So you can, yeah, because you're going to cut it out, so it doesn't yeah. matter. Right. All right. Now you need to line that up over that. So mm. you could put a pin through the hole in the middle of that. There we if go. you can't see it, if you're not sure, you could line these lines up. Yeah. Um, you could put a pin through the middle to hold it hold in place. Pin. Oh, got a pin to make sure it's dead centred. Because you can lift it up from the side and have a look if it's in the middle. <laughs> right, right. So what do you think? You okay. that? Yeah. And if you're happy. If it thinks, put your pin directly down. Yeah, in there. And then look from the side, make sure you're going through the, the dot. So you'll know it's in the middle. And then you can line your crease lines that you've got in that. Up what, with the crease, crease lines, lines in that. Yeah. Okay. Okay, and then pin it in place. Pin it a glue it. pen. If you've got a glue yeah, pen, you can always glue, glue pen, pen it in place. Better. And then just um, just to trace it. Hands asked, how did you do the oval? How did we draw? So we opened up our tissue box. We just box, opened up the tissue box. Um, took the tissues, took tissues out, out and we just drew did on a piece of paper. Bit? Just show again. Yeah, I'll just... Shall I glue this down to it? Yeah, so just take your tissues yeah. out of your box, open it up. Put your paper underneath 
and then just trace through and then you can cut it out. There we go. I've just stuck that down. Okay. Is that all right? So you're just going to trace around that. Right, okay. Just trace around it with a pen. Now you might want to use a disappearing pen. Oh, shall I No, it's all right. It's because we're on cream. We're, done. we're just making the sample in the video, aren't we? Um, you might want to use a disappearing marker, um, an iron off pen, or uh, an air. An air, an air erasable or water. a water erasable chalk. So many different pens. Chalk, a chalk pencil in a darker colour, a uh, different colour than what you're using. So, and then you can take that off. That glue is amazing, isn't it? I love that. Right. There we go. So that's what so, you should have. Are we going to... We're going to... We're doing it like, if you've ever done so, a zip. Yeah. If you've ever done a zip. Okay. I'm getting okay. ahead of myself. Yeah. Yep. So we've just drawn, struck that down and drawn round it. And you've drawn round it. Yeah. Are we all okay? Are we all there with that? Just let You us might know. want to turn your iron on now to start warming up because when I've sewn this, you'll want to, it'll need pressing. Give it a quick wiggle. Yeah. Turn your iron on ready if you've got your iron nearby. Okay. Yeah. Oh, Elaine's put a thumbs up, yeah. Yeah. Get a couple more thumbs up and then we'll move on. Again, who's, it, who's going to be the first to post? I know, <laughs> who's going to be the first to post? We'll give you a shout out on the material, Absolutely. girls. Absolutely. Yeah. At, uh, 12 o'clock. Are uh, you going to be there with us watching? Yeah, you get kudos for being first. Yes, you do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jane's, yeah. Oh, yeah, we're getting quite a lot right. of thumbs up. Okay, so now you need to get your two fabrics, your top, your, for your, and you're going to put them right sides together. So that's with, yeah. yeah. So this one that would be if there was a right and wrong, right side up. Yeah. And that one's um, with the right drawing. side down. No, because you've drawn on the back. So the drawn side, side up, up, which is yeah. on the back, on the wrong side. Yeah. So right sides together. So I've put my two Okay, together. and then just stick a couple of pins in. Okay. Or a couple of clips. Sure get them lined up. And then I'm going to, I'm going to actually do something now. So that <laughs> I'm going to do, talk. do a bit of work. Yeah. Right. There we go. So we've pinned the two together. Okay. And then you just basically, you're going to sew around that curve. I turned my stitch length down a little bit. Yeah, you said this last time about going around a curve to, to turn it down that. so that it's... I'm going to remind okay? myself of this machine. Uh, press mark. Press mark. Oh, okay. That one. <laughs> It's giving right. us instructions. Me do, it's telling me what to do. Yeah, never had that before. my thread up, has it? No, I don't think so. Hold on, let me just get my thread back out. I don't want my thread out for this bit. Excuse me. And the machine's just told me what to do, and then, <laughs> and then that's not right. It's just all sort of gone. Not happy with that. No. Right, so. I just want to check my centre. Because you'll see this on the outside, I'm just going to, I want my thread, my thread out. Yeah. Can I just pinch this? Yeah, of course you can. Yeah, we're getting quite a lot of thumbs up, so we'll uh, just okay. yeah, excuse us whilst we just yeah, fix I'm the just machine. Getting, I'm just getting my thread up from the bottom. Ooh, Nothing like a it? live video, is there? Did that just come unthreaded? <laughs> I'm not quite I'm sure what sure. that's going on there. I can't see it. It's always, um, when you use a different machine, it's always strange, isn't it? Because it's like, ooh. Right, that's all right. This isn't my usual no. working. Oh, there you go, you did it. There we go. So I've got the thread up. Yeah. Um, you want the bits. Okay, so we're just going to serve around the curve. So around the curve. So if you've ever done a zipper, a zip box, you're basically doing sewing around that like you would on a zip box. Yeah. I do like to turn for this bit because I think it turns neater. I like to turn my stitch length down so i'm going to turn it down to two mil i'm normally at two and a half mm. line up your line in the center now go slow with doing a curve yes always go around slow go slow yeah uh when you do your first stitch hold your threads down yeah i'm holding them down here yeah uh, so, it, so it doesn't suck them down yeah. into the machine and you won't get nesting on the back and then i'll just shove them back up and off you That's go what's going on does it not sound right no no have you Bobbing, right? <laughs> I'm just going to turn my machine back on now. With in doubt, on yeah. and off again. Reboot. Yeah. There we are. Right, we're back on. Try again. Right, so I want my stitch length down to two. 
Right, we're on sent straight stitch, so it should do this right. Start again. <laughs> I'm just going to move that pin over a bit. I'm going to catch that. Yeah. It kept moving the needle over. Oh. Right. Never had that before. Right, so back are we, are stitch, back stitch, back stitch. That one. <laughs> My back stitch is on. See, so it's just done not it again. in the same place. What's it just done? Um, maybe try, maybe try redoing the um and the bobbin. The bobbin. Don't know what's Sometimes, going on. Sorry, folks. Don't know what's going on here. Sometimes I find bobbins can be a bit funny. They can just be that bit funny with you. Live TV, eh? I know. Says nothing like it. <laughs> Why is it moving? So hopefully, all of you, you know may now be sewing round your, your circle. Hopefully, better yeah. than I am. Yes, getting a bit yeah. further on than we are. Because my um, machine's not Elise, playing ball. are we sewing one piece or just a, just the two, making sure I got it right? Right so, sides together. Yeah, so yeah. The, the two top pieces, the one where we've sewn the, the drawn circle on, we've pinned our two pieces together, so it's right sides together, if you're using a fabric that's got a print on. Um, and then we're going to be sewing around the two pieces together around that circle. I hope that makes sense, Elaine. But yeah, we're just going to be sewing the two pieces together, basically. Because Try again. I think what we're going to do, if I've got this right, once we've sewn it through, we're going to be... Turning it, pushing it through. Yeah, cutting it that out and pushing Turn it, it through, through so that you've got the right side facing out. Right, cross everything. Let's try again. No, Third it's, time it's lucky. Not pull that one. No. There it is. Try again. <laughs> Third time lucky. I don't know what's going on, why it keeps doing that. It's just not playing today. No, it's it? not. So, maybe because we're not we've not used it for a while. <laughs> right, come on, slow. Yeah. Everything looks right on there, doesn't it? Yeah. Got your stitch length right and everything, yeah. Right. The oh, there you go. It did the first couple right and then it jutted, yeah. it jutted off to the right oh. when I reversed. Oh. See, it's just done it again. Is it because it's slow? No. No. Uh, technical pitch. This is not good. The machine doesn't want it. <laughs> doesn't like this bobbin, maybe. What bobbin is it? Is it just like the one that I had in before? But you don't see it shove it, it pushed it over. Did it? And I can't see from this angle. Don't know what's going on here, people, but... We're so sorry about this. Yeah. Let me just get another bobbin. Yeah. Uh, the bag next bag. to you. I'll just use a different colour. This is our lovely little bag of things that we it have. It might have to be red. Doesn't matter. Yeah. We'll try that, because we know we've used that one. Maybe it just doesn't like that bobbin. Possibly. Got it going up the right. Yeah. Needle's not loose. No. Needle loose. No. Do you know, if this weren't live, we would have probably... It would have probably done it just right, gone straight through. It always happens, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I do. All right, so if you pull that... that you can hold this, it, just a little I bit. I didn't know that. If you it, hold on it, not too much tension, but if you hold it, it pulls up the loop. Oh, right. see, I always pull from underneath the whole thing to fall apart now. Sorry, the falling off the machine. If you look at this, live TV. At least you all can have a laugh. Right. Material gets mad, don't they? But hey, no. Yeah. Right. Again. Fourth time lucky. Here we go. Nothing else to try. Nothing's catchy. No. I'm going to re-thread it. Yeah, that's always a good answer. idea. Re-thread. Right, it goes under there. Does it go under there? Does it go under there? Um, under, under there. round, down, down, under, over. Under. Right. I, I don't know if everyone else does, but I have a little saying when I do it. I go round, down, under, over, I don't know, just, it's, I do it that quick on my machine. Yeah, I know. You just get into a flow of it, it, don't you? Although I was saying that last night, I had trouble threading my machine. It just, it weren't happening. It's on the opposite side to my machine. Yeah, mine goes the other way. And that's that on that side and it's on the other side. Yeah. Right? Oh, dear me. Right, threaded. The, the, the threader I can't use. I can't work it out. Right, that's it. That's threaded. 
There yeah, we go. Right. Threaded in case it's not between your tension discs. <laughs> it might be that. Might not have been between the tension discs. <laughs> Try not that's, to, that's, that's that's loose. just wants to come off that, it doesn't does, it? Right. So, gosh, here we go oh, again. Oh yeah, Jesus, love a machine that has a microphone. Oh, sword. Absolutely. Heck, I tell you. Oh, there we go. There we go. Within doubt, re-thread re -thread. it. So backstitch, right, so I'll speed up a bit now. No pressure. No pressure. Oh God, I'm on super slow. Oh, the, So the. turn it up a bit and we'll be here forever. Now, I'm going round it quick now. Yeah, When you get to the tight changes, you might need to lift your foot and turn. Yeah, Karen's just put a, a little party emoji party yeah. out. Woo, woo, we got it going again. <laughs> it just shows that a lot of problems are caused just by your threading and your bobbing. So we've got red thread now yeah. underneath. <laughs> so there's red in the pa in the pattern. Oh, Alyssa's is expecting a heating engineer. Hope he doesn't come just yet. Yeah. Let's fingers quick. crossed. Yeah. yeah. Are we all at this point? Have we all done it? Am I like, are know, we are we now behind? Late, late are, we... <laughs> are you all one step ahead of us? So hopefully you've gone round yours by now. Yeah. Try and make it neat. <laughs> right. right, are we yeah. there? Oh, I think everyone's there with it. We've got Fantastic. lots of thumbs up. <laughs> I'm there now. There you go. So you can trim your threads. Right. Thank you very much. Where have the little scissors gone? Oh, thank you. I'll switch back to. <laughs> I'm going to switch back to white thread then. Oh, it looks all right with red. There we go. I'm not going to change the top thread. I was no. going to change it to pink, but I don't no, think I will. We're not now. risking it. Right. So we've all sewn our circle. So if you want your top stitch to match, like that, um, and you've got a different thread in, now's a good time as any to change it, so that it'll be coordinated. I was going to, I'm not going to do it, I don't want to risk the machine. <laughs> we don't want to annoy it anymore. No. Make it angry at us. Right. Okay, so what now, we're doing next? you basically we're going to fold put, it in half and put yeah. a snip in the middle. Mm, I'll go the other way. I so, show what you're doing on the screen. Yeah, so, okay, for those yeah. who don't know. Folded it in half, just like that. Just snip it in the middle, and then you're going to cut, cut out that out the middle, but leave about between an eighth of and a quarter of an inch seam allowance on the inside yeah, yeah. on the inside of the curve not yeah. the not, not the, the outside. outside right so don't go right up to your stitches you can anywhere between an eighth you and a quarter of an inch draw it on couldn't you you could draw it on if you wanted to so what'd you say about that will do about yeah. That? Yeah, yeah well that's not bad and just go it? all the way around you don't need a big a big one just yeah so it covers it I always, I always feel uh, wrong cutting into fabric like that when I've sewn it. I'm like, ooh. I know. We didn't think about no. big scissors, funnily enough. I'm trying to go as fast as I can. And then put little, then once you've cut it out, yeah. snip into your seams because it's a curve all the way around. So that, that we just left. Yeah, that snip up to your snippings. up to your stitches. Don't snip through your stitches. All the way yeah, around. About half, you know, half an inch. Yeah. In between them, just snip all the way around, and it will turn through and go flat. Then. Everybody's got quiet. Yeah, I know. Concentrating. Concentrating. Don't want to snip through the stitches. No, don't snip. If you snip through your stitches, then you could just do another stitch line all the way back round. Oh, right. You know, follow yeah. the outside of that line. There we go. And just stitch another line. So that's really? snipped up. Right. So now um, you know what to do next. Ellen said, if you're doing a rectangle, where do we snip? Into the corners. So if you're doing a rectangle, uh, if that was your rectangle there, you would just go up to the point at an angle. Yeah. 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 Right. Sorry. As close yeah. to the corner, as close to the corner as you can get. So without cutting through your stitches. What we're doing now is I've split the two pieces. So that's that's where we've been cutting. We're going to turn right side out. 
and pull it through. Doesn't matter which one you pull through. No. Just as long as you've got pull the right it through to the other side. Right it's a bit because there's no interface yeah. in there or anything on it. It's a bit trickier, isn't it? Yeah. It's, yeah Maybe lay it flat on the table so you're holding right it down through. while you're doing it. Do a bit of it and then maybe, I don't know, press, press that bit. It. You should have your iron on it. now for pressing this yeah. soon. Right, so just bear with for a second. Right, that's a good idea. Do a bit and press a bit. So did we get that, Elaine? You just snip into your corners. You don't need to snip all the way around, just into your corners. It's only if you're doing circles and But you need to go all yeah. the way around. Mm. And once you've done that, uh, stick it here so we can see what you're Sorry. doing. No, yeah. put it in the middle of your mouth. Oh, that's a good idea. Put that in the middle of your mat. I brought my yeah, pressing mat. I took mat. it off camera, haven't I? Here we go. What, so see you can see. Doing. I mean, I, it, is, it is a little bit fiddly. It is a little bit fiddly because there's no interfacing to hold it. And uh, Try not to burn myself. Don't look process. at the bottom of my iron because it needs cleaning. I keep saying I need to clean oh, it. I'll I film, it. I'll film it. I'll film it when I clean it. Oh, look at that. Nice circle. There we go. And so then the rest will just... It should eventually just just fall. Yeah, get everything. Through. Line all your edges up yeah. and get it all. Get it nice and flat. Okay. Just that little corner there's an iron on the bubble, but there we go. There we go. Right. So we're happy with that. There we go. So we're all turned through. Now you can, at this point, if you wanted to, if you've got a glue pen, you could put a bit of dab of glue on the corner, you know, just to hold the sides hold together. Yeah. Or you can pin it, just to sure. stop them moving a bit. I think I prefer gluing me. Me, I use glue sticks yeah. so much. So good. Yeah. Just stops it flapping around. Or you can base stitch it all the way around. Yeah. I find that harder when you're only doing a quarter inch seam allowance, though, because you've got to get it an eighth. Yeah. It, yeah. I like a half inch seam allowance. Can't get it to fold out. It'll be the same. Yeah, it's, it is. It is fiddly, but you will get at it. At first, I had a bit of trouble. Lay so, it on your table. So lay, I did this little bit first, pressed it, went a bit round, round pressed press it, it, and then the rest just then goes into just place. did it. Yeah. So give us some thumbs up when you're there. I'm just gonna flatten that bit because that's annoying. It's annoying. Yeah, yeah. that little crease. I think that's as flat as it's going to go. There we go. Yeah. You could then go and baste around the edges within yeah. your seam allowance. With a, You could just use a longer stitch. Yeah. And it'll hold those two layers together. Or like we've done, we've just gone glued it. Glued it. It just makes yeah. it easier when you're sewing your sides on as well. Doesn't move. Oh, Angie's with us. Thumbs up. Okay. So I'm going to start the next bit while you're doing that anyway. Yeah. Okay. So we're just going to top stitch around it now. So start with your threads out. Yeah. Um, although you're not going to see the other side unless yeah. you look up in, unless you're looking up inside, and why would you? Yeah. <laughs> um, I start like to start with my threads out. Oh, we've had a question from Dawn. Dawn, where do you get that iron mat? Where? It's quite a good iron mat that actually. One. I got that from Obkirk's in How Blackburn. Thick that is. That's yeah. really good. Good um, question yeah. actually. I got it from Obkirk's in Blackburn. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, you can get. We don't sell them in the shop, but you no. can get. You can get them online. Yeah, um, Obkirk is a good place. Yeah, to Amazon. You can get them on Amazon. Yeah. but I'd rather support Obkirk. Oh, absolutely, I would. Yeah, definitely. which is a sewing machine shop. Yes, it is. So much accessories like You've got that. so much. When I last there. visited, not last time I visited town before, I picked up a small that small one. I have a bigger one. I as want well. to go and have a visit. Yeah, they are quite expensive, but yeah. they're made of wool. Yeah, they're a wool mat. Um, they're one hundred percent wool. And they can smell a bit sheepy when you first get them. They oh. actually smell like sheep when you're ironing on them. But that does eventually fade. Yeah. Um, and wool burns at very high temperatures. Yeah. So if you was to forget and leave your iron down, yeah. for, you know, um, it would take it would. A, you know, a while before yeah. it burns. Plus, because wow. it gets hot while you're ironing on it, it yeah. helps iron the back at the same time. Yeah, well. yeah. But if I ever worry about leaving my iron... Yeah. Um, especially if you've got a silicon mat, you can put it down on as well. Wow. I, don't, I don't worry about it getting too Jane, hot. Yeah. Because mm, it's wool. Yeah, James is and they smell. Yeah. Mm, they do smell. <laughs> Some of them smell really. The first time I got one, the yeah. smell of sheep. It smelled yes. like I was dying in wool. If you've ever yeah. had wool, the smell of. Oh. You could say you've got a pet sheep. Yeah, if you've ever got <laughs> wet wool in your house, it smells like sheep. Yeah, and just says, I love my little wool mat, and it's. Uh, that heart gets in the way. And it's only. I think tonight, I don't know if she put the cost there. Mm. Oh no, only nine by nine. 
but very handy. Yeah, they're yeah. not the cheapest thing, but they're, uh, I'm thinking they're making a cover for mine. Oh. Because, you know, if you get glue on it or if yeah. it just gets dirty over time, I'm yeah. thinking of making a, an actual cover for mine. So, right, so we're sewing so a top stitch. Top stitch don't, forget, don't forget to back stitch. I turned my stitch up to three mil. Yeah. Now, you do have to take a bit more time to do just that so around. it looks neat. And you will have to lift your foot and turn. Yeah. Can you see that? I've had to turn it towards me a bit so yeah. I can see what oh, I'm doing. Oh, you still see it, yeah. So an eighth to a quarter of an inch round. It depends how close you want to be to the edge, really. But I do mm. do this quite this bit when you're going the curve. Slow. Do it quite slow just to get it neat. Time. Just keep stopping. I do a couple of stitches, especially on the, these edges because they're quite a tight curve. Yeah. I've got a line, a mark on me. You know, your foot is plastic in the yeah. middle and the thing. I line the edge up with the, yes, where the plastic it. meets the metal. Yeah, that's a good idea. That's where I'm doing it. Yeah. And keep turning it and lining it up with that. I'm only doing two or three stitches a time around that curve. And then as you get more, your curve smooths out a bit more. It's to like the, the bigger yeah. section. Mm -hmm. So I'm quite away from, I'm not right up against the edge. At least it's working for us I know. now. <laughs> and I can't promise this will be a neat edge because it's not my machine. No. And I'm not used to like it. Like I say, it's, yeah, it's strange when you're using a different yeah. one because you know all your little measurements and your little bits on them. Mm. But it still is a good machine. I keep pressing the back of the... the I keep pressing the back of the pedal because my back pedal... Oh, yeah. When I could pre hit the back of my pedal, it backstitches. Oh, wow. So well, if, you, if you clever. watch my videos, you'll see me quite yeah. often the backstitch and I don't take my hands off my work because it... It's programmed, really into, it's programmed into my foot to do it. I, I've i realised I need to... Um, I leave my foot hovering over my pedal. Yeah. So if I lift my foot up and I'm turning it or something and, mm. you know, I'm not actually sewing, yeah. my foot then rests and then I sew something. And One of the best tips I ever learned was every single time you yeah. stop, take yeah. your foot off the pedal. I need to do that. Every single time you stop, yeah. especially if you're going to put your hands near it, every yeah. single, if you do take it every time, time yeah. take your foot away. Every Literally, single time. my foot will hover and yeah. it'll just go down and I'm like, oh, I didn't want the stitch yeah. there. <laughs> Always take your, um, yeah. when you stop, take your foot I'm going to practice off the pedal. That. Practice that because it's a good safety tip yeah. as well. You know, because you look away to talk yeah, to somebody. and your foot. And you can press it without yeah, even realising your hands are here. Always yeah. take your foot. I can't remember who told me that. I'm but that stuck with me that, that I always take board. I always take my foot off the pedal. Yeah. I see, I never do. There you I go. Need to. Top stitched. Brilliant. So I'll just trim them threads. How are we all doing? Have we top stitched? Half past, I know. So there we go. I've top stitched it. Well, Heather's top stitched it. <laughs> so you can't see it very well. I was originally going to do it in a coloured one so you could see it, but yeah. we don't risk it. No. <laughs> don't make it mad at us. <laughs> don't upset the machine. <laughs> right. So what do we do next? So then? we're going to sew the sides on now. So pick the, pick the side you want to put on first. So it's a longer one. Yeah. So you'll have this right side up. Yeah. There's so we'll assume that's right top. side. You start in the middle up. Sorry. <laughs> so this is right side up. Don't say that ever. And you need your top against this line, so it will be that way. So oh, if you okay. if you lay it out in the direction it's going to be. Yeah. Okay. So with your T, yeah, at the top. That's your T bit. The, did I put my T in the wrong place? My side seam. Why are our sides bigger? I don't so know. So much bigger. Did you cut it out I too just, big? Oh, I cut it out at measurements. I hope I did. Better be bigger than small. Give me room. Might have to do a bit of a. I did cut out to five. What was it? One way should be five and three quarter. Uh, that's the height. And, and one way should be way. four and three quarter. Right. Is that the biggest one? Five and three. This yeah. is five and three quarters. So this one's too big. You've cut these too big. Oh no. These are too big. So, we'll go so where's my sizes written down? Here we are. Size. See, this is a five and example. three quarter tall by five and a quarter. That should be five and a quarter width. That way. Yeah. That way. Yeah. You need right. to chop a bit off. Do you want to do them other sides? So we'll do that one first while you chop them off. Yeah. So at least it's too big. Yeah. Right. So this is the shorter side. So oh, let me fits. just show them what to do before you do yeah. that. So you've got your, your centre. So this is right side up. Yeah. So like on this one, blue side up. Yeah. Put your 
side that matches coordinates yeah. so it should match the size yeah right side up so that the your if your directional fabric is pointing upwards upwards yeah because this is the top you should put a t on in your markings yeah and then just close it up like that does it matter yeah on there okay it's only marginal yeah. it's because it's pulled in a bit yeah and it's sewing um so it's like that and then we're going to sew turn that around then uh pin it or clip it, just put clips on or something, and then we're just going to sew from your marker to your marker. Right. At so a quarter of an inch. Push that in. And back stitch. Yes, yeah, because it's pulled in a little bit, hasn't it? Yeah, just stretch out the bottom one a bit. I'll stretch it while yeah, I'm doing it. Stretch I'll stretch it. it while I'm sewing. <laughs> you can line up your centre marks. Oh, that's You nice put centre marks so yeah. you can line them up. Did we put them on the top one? Uh, no, no we, we could put centre. You could, you could put, put centre, centre marks on there on and line it up. Right, so but we're going to stretch it. <laughs> we're, we're going, going to, to, to cheat a little bit right. and stretch it. So you're going to start... Just before you start, what size was it again? Four and... Five and a quarter. Five and a quarter. So it should be five and three quarters tall. Yeah. Um, it's the bigger one you're doing, isn't it? Five and yeah. three quarters tall and five and a quarter quarter inches Could wide. Could I have the ruler, please? Thank you. Okay, so can you... See, I don't know if you can see... So I'm going to start at this quarter inch line here. One quarter of an inch on the inwards quarter of an inch there. So I can see the line. And then don't forget to back stitch. That's five and a quarter that way, yeah. Yeah. And five and three quarters tall. So that's right. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Well, Turn that's it the other way. Or four and a quarter. Uh, four, five. Sides. I'm very confused. Five and now. three quarters by five and a quarter. Yeah, that's five. Have and we got a quarter. our sizes right? That's five and a quarter. Maybe we've measured got that one. Maybe I've written that one wrong. And five and three quarters. Give me the ruler a minute. This only measures four and three quarters. on this ruler <laughs> that's four that's right yeah and then this has been cut at four and three quarters three it's been cut quarters. at the um not added the so this is smaller oh did we not add yeah, on not, not added on the uh when you cut it out not added on the extra bit cut it at the measurement of the box oh not added sorry everybody that's all right yeah. trim it down trim it down just trim it down to what size to hang on, what was that? Four <laughs> and three quarters, did we say? Yeah, so let's nice too short. That's me, I'm so sorry. It should be um five and a quarter. Five and a just trim yeah, it down. You need your seam allowances. You've not put the seam, seam allowances. allowances. On. You've cut it down to the measurement, measurement of the box, the box without adding the seam allowances. So we're so five so make sure it's five and three quarter tall. So, so that's it'll five be five and three tall. Yeah, so it might not fit afterwards, oh, but no. at least you'll have made one. Yeah. So you'll have made know. one. That's five and a quarter. So today's four just four and three quarters. Which one's that no, one? Give me again. I'm, I'm totally. Me, I'm, I'm very sorry, I'm totally, I'm totally lost now with that. <laughs> Elaine says I've done the same. The wide side. Yeah. It's the wide side, isn't it? I'm so totally we, sh we lost. should be four and three quarters by five and a quarter. So five and three quarters, right? So yeah, we've got four. I just, just did. I just, just making. Did, I'm yeah. just making sure the <laughs> As longest I was told. side. That's four and three quarters. Yeah. That should be right then. And it should be yeah, five and three quarters. Yeah, because we worked it out, didn't we? The sides four and three quarters. Yeah. So. As you see, it does work because yeah. we've made three of them. Four and three quarters. Does it measure four and three four quarters? And three. That's that should be five and a quarter. Five and a quarter by five. It's and just three this is quarters. too small. It's this bit that's too small. Because it should be four and three, three quarters. Four and three quarters by five, five and a quarter. quarter. That's, that's four, four and a half. Four and three. That's four and a half by four and four and a half. Well, I didn't been cut four it. And three yeah, quarters. four and three quarters. At right. So you've got the four and three quarters. It's this five measurement. And a quarter. Yeah, that's not been cut to that measurement. Oh, I'm sure I cut you've it. You've got four and a quarter. Well. It's an inch short. All oh, right. Oh, I'm sure right. I cut it. Mm. Well, obviously not. No, obviously not. It's obviously not. It's just been cut wrong. Elaine says, my top is five and half by four. Oh. 
five and a half by four. The top should be five and a quarter by four and three quarter. Five and a quarter, yeah. By four, and ours is not. Right. Ours is not. It's been cut wrong. So sorry about that, but there's lots of measurements yeah. going on in this one. It's, it's only basically adding yeah, the seam, seam allowance. allowance. It's only basically adding yeah. the seam allowance. So it's just been cut wrong, that's all. Right, just cut that bit. So, how much smaller? You know what I said about drawing yeah. it on at the middle? Yeah. So it's probably See, that's it. why so it's we need, to we'll just trim that. We'll just yeah. trim, you need to trim that one down. It's yeah. not going to fit the tissue box. All right. But this is your first practice yeah. one. This not, is my first one, everybody. But we're still going to do it to show how yeah. it goes. So this should be five and three quarters tall. That is tall. five and three quarters, And then yeah. you now need to cut that one. What did I say that measure? That four width, and a four and a quarter. Needs to be the width of that. Four and a half. Cut it four, four and, and a half. half so it fits. Measure your side and cut it whatever it is. Yeah. Elaine's okay. doing the same as us. Yeah. So Okay, so so four between and a half. your marks. Yeah. Yeah. That's five and a quarter that. Cool, live TV. Hey, I know. We've had the machine, we've had the cutting, we've had everything. So don't forget to backstitch. Quarter of an inch. One, two, and then stop at your other mark. If it's, if, yours, if it's pulled in a little bit from your sewing, just try and stretch it out a bit underneath. Stop a quarter of an inch. So stop a quarter of an inch from the end, which should be your mark. I'm just going to check that that one gets. So that's five and three quarters that way. I want it one, two, right. three, four. So that'll fit. And a half. Four and a half, and then that it should way. fit here. There we go. I'm going to move that out of the way now. There we go. Okay, now well, let's just put it put it against that edge there. There we are, that'll there do. Go, that fits. That'll do. That fits. Okay, so once you've stitched, while Chloe's cutting that, can you still see here? Sorry, yeah, once okay. you've stitched, okay. open that out and then press this seam down. I'll just finger press it down. Press this seam down. And then put your other one, open your other one out on the other side so that your top is against your edge. Fold it in like that. Either pin or clip it. And again, sew from your line to your line, back stitching at each end, leaving that quarter of an inch at each end. Yeah, that's one half. Oh. Right, so we'll sew them on. Measure twice, cut once. Measure twice. <laughs> draw your men, draw it draw on. Draw it on. Draw it on. See, I always just... See, that's what yeah. I was saying in the beginning, draw it on, whereas you that's you like to just cut it. I do, I do just cut, yes, my right. three quarters down. Right, so there one, we two, go. Four and a half across. Your top, your top might pull in a little bit once you've stitched your top. You know your circle in the middle. Yeah. Once you've stitched that over, it might pull in, draw, yeah. might draw in a little bit. Yeah. So you can, when you're stitching, pull on it a little bit as you're doing it, and then pin it. Yeah. Okay. So I'll just back stitch that. Right. So are you all right, Elaine? You've trimmed, just, just trimmed continue down. Making yeah. It just because carry on making. It's literally it's the same. just your first one. So we've gone. For the bigger side, we've gone five and three quarters by four and a well, half. Well, whatever yours measures. But whatever yours measures, yeah. yeah. Oh, Jane says nine fits. Good. See, really? well done, Jane. Yeah, <laughs> well done. It does it's work. It's just, that it's is my just. It's cutting. It's just the cutting out. It's yeah, been cut short. Yeah, it's just short. been cut that bit short. Yeah. yeah. Don't forget we're on camera. Yes. It's, uh, yeah. yeah. And Chloe hasn't made one before either. No, so. and measurements I have to take a while to process. So there you go. It's right. because we were teaching you how to measure your yeah. own box. Because if you're using a different tissue box... There you go. Okay, so... All right? Yeah. So these two you'll have done. Now, when you come to sew these ones, can you yeah. see? Because there's oh, a gap here see, now, yeah. you can pull this back. And, and then can, when this is yeah. on... Do you want me to draw the quarter? No, it's no, all right. right. I'll, I'll be all right. Just um, fold those back. And that'll fit then. It's yeah. easier. And then you start a quarter of an inch in, in. and it'll fit in wow. nicely because you haven't sewn. Gone all the way to the edge. Right up to the edge. Yeah. So it's easier to do. Clever. So, okay. Yes, I do apologise about that. So let me just line that up. About the cutting. It happens. Hence the saying, yes. Yeah. Measure twice, measure cut, twice once. cut once. Okay, let me just line all that up on that.
when you're not following a live so along as well yeah um you'll get it done better you'll do it yeah. better you'll do it easier well they always say don't they the first one you is it yeah, you throw, you practice. yeah you th i always say your first one's your practice practice one. one when you follow any of the videos yeah. it's always worth trying to do it not on the actual your posh fabric yes do it on some cheaper fabric while you learn how to do it and then you can use your posh fabric and when then you use your posh fabric learned. once you know how yeah. to do it because by the time i show you or chloe shows you in a video yeah this is still a bit short is it if by the time <laughs> chloe shows you in a video or i show you in a video we've already made several yes we have we've yes we've done our test ones Are you all right? Yeah, I don't know if you can see what I'm doing. Just sewing a quarter of an inch. When you're getting close to this end, then mm. you can pull that back. So you can see yeah. your seam there. Yeah. You can pull that back. And then you're still going to stop a quarter of an inch from the end. It yeah. wouldn't really matter if you went all the way to the end. But if I stop a quarter of an inch from the end. And then the corners will fit together nicely when you turn it through. Okay, nice. so we've got one yeah. there. Got a bit of a pucker Ooh. there. Never mind. Oh. I think everything's going to go in this video. <laughs> Let me just snip that out so it just pulls that. We back. have good ones and we have ones no, that, you know. It's all right. I'll turn it round. Put the next, the next one here. Piece. Don't forget, it's your top. Make sure you've got yeah. it here. This is your top. Fold it over. It's just actually relatively easy. It is, when you, yeah. yeah. So you'll have you'll fold this back here. You can line it up, pin it, glue it, tape it. However, they're just slightly short. Oh, just um, <laughs> pieces just aren't going yeah, right today. Yeah, they're just slightly short. Oh, yeah. Miss that piece there. There we go. Okay. So this will pull back to start off and yeah. then you'll have your quarter inch mark so you can start, start at your quarter, quarter inch. inch. Try and get a bit closer and catching that because I've not got marks on mine. No, because I had to chop the marks off. Okay, take that one out. Stretch. Stretch that to fit. Right. Oh no, one has got mine's a mess. Oh no. Like... So's mine. <laughs> so is ours. So is mine. You're with us. Yeah. Okay. Do another one. Yeah, do another one afterwards. Yeah. Okay, so you will have four, four sides. sides like that. Yeah. How are we all doing? Okay. Jane says hers fits, so I'm happy about that. Yeah. All right. If you've cut. The right, yeah, it will fit. Our, our oval's a bit wonky, isn't it? <laughs> it's just gone. Everything's just gone a bit wrong. Accurate today. measuring. It's just accurate measuring. No, See, if it's I was just, at home, I would have. Yeah. Don't worry about 16, it. It's just times. no. It shows that we can do it as well. Yeah. It's just accurate measuring. Yeah. That's all it is. It's just it was cut and uh, what do we say? An inch short, half yeah. an inch short, an inch short. That's all it is. Yeah. Um, we'll just go back and do another one. Yeah. Um. Okay, so once you've got all of your four sides there, if you've not, you know, made a total disaster. <laughs> right, this just shows you what to do. So once you've got this, get two of your sides together and then you're going to bring them up yeah. together like that. Hopefully yeah, everything will line fit. up and they fit yeah. like that. Okay, so ours is a bit puckered at the corner here, but it doesn't matter because that's going to be in the corner. All right, so we're just going to sew from your mark yeah. down, right down to the bottom. Yeah. Now, because there's no mark here, so you don't have a lead a quarter, one, but yeah. I don't sew off the edge. If you want to sew off the edge, then you need a, a leader. What do oh. they call it? A little bit of fabric sewn to oh, that. Oh, right, yeah, yeah. But instead of that, if you we'll stop just before you get to the end and backstitch, yeah. it's just, it won't suck the fabric yeah. down into your machine. Yeah. All right. So we just, can you just clip, clip that or pin Some that for me, please? That's a lot. Carol, I'm playing catch up. I've put my oval on wrong. Oh way, no! And my stitching. 
Carol stitching went wonky. This is why we added a bit of extra, so if your stitching goes wonky. Oh, Lynn says it's the taking part that counts. It is. It is, absolutely. And it's good, actually, because you see all the things yeah. that, can go, that can go wrong and how to put them right. Absolutely. I can't put right things that are cut that are the wrong size, but we can, we try can, our best. We can do our best. Yeah. All right, so start at the top. So I'm going to go there. We're doing a quarter of inch seam. Start at the top where your mark is. Yeah. And back stitch. Okay, and then just quarter inch seam all the way, or whatever seam you're doing, down to the bottom. Now you might find, because of the, the stretch and pull mm. on, on fabric, you might find they don't meet up at the bottom. So just, bit. yeah. But, you know, you can make that fit or you can trim it afterwards. See, I'm going to stop there. A couple of okay. stitches from the yeah. bottom and then back pedal. And it won't suck it down into the machine because that's in your seam. Yeah. Okay. Oh, it's nothing worse when the machine sucks it in. It's, oh. So there we go. So that would be your first one. So there you go. Even with my dodgy corner, it's not too bad. Oh, it looks all right. All right. Man. So that's your first yeah. side sewn together. Yeah. All right. So tuck that back in. So do then you the would same do, again. do the next one. Yeah. Let you clip them, them together. Clip sure them you together. want to make you trust me. <laughs> Are we all doing? A, we kept up. Carol says, "Thank you for cutting instructions on cutting out." There you go. Yeah. yeah, definitely. Um, if you've gone wrong and your stitch your sizes have gone wrong, yeah. when you do your next one, draw it out, yeah, draw, draw it out, out and then cut check it, yeah. measure it and check it and then cut it. Yeah. And then cut it out. So I'm just we might have to it. cut this short because material girls. <laughs> yeah. Alright, I'll just at least get the sides shown to get sewn together. Pedals travelling. Oh I know it does travel, doesn't it? Mm. You push it along with your foot. Yeah, so that we at least see a finished yeah and you oh, can turn that you don't need me to show i can show you how to turn the hem but, we'll, but we won't stitch it a, yeah a double hem because we won't have time everything's just been a bit one of days today i expect the foot to lift up when yeah. i press that button because it does on mine automatically lifts up when you i can tell you're expecting it yeah, yeah. you're waiting for it to lift up and it's not <laughs> Alright, so do that on all four sides. Yeah. Right. I made something so simple, so complicated. <laughs> you know the complicated no. version of it now no it's not complicated <laughs> no it's really it, it is easy when you do another one you'll know what you're doing yeah uh, one more i'm trying to do but. this quick now so we can show just show you show how you to hem it in case you don't know yeah and then we'll have to wrap it up because we've got material girls in yeah. about 10 minutes <laughs> i hope they've sorted stuff out for us oh yeah no I'm just winging this. Oh, I trust you, Heather. You're a good sewer. Oh, well, full speed. <laughs> Here forever. <laughs> right. Okay. right. Okay, so you sew all your sides all together. Sides. Push it out, turn it through. There we go. Whatever you've got, if it relatively looks like a tissue box cover, don't forget to share it. Yes. We might not be able to show them on this material, girls, but they might be able to show them on Tuesday or yeah. Thursday. All there right, so that's your tissue box shape. Yeah. Okay. Makes a cube. Yeah. Okay? Right. So if you were going to hem it... Right, so ours has gone a bit wonky at the bottom. You might find, as you're stitching, it pushes it down a bit. Yeah, I do find yeah, that Yeah, all right, a lot. so you yeah. might want to lay it out. Yeah. You might just want to lay it out and trim it. Trim it. 
But then to get a, an even folded up hem, mm. you've got to do a double fold. What I find is if you then, you draw on a line at a half inch yeah. and one at three quarters of an inch. Yeah. And then fold it up first to the half inch line. And then you don't even need the three quarters probably. And then fold up again. the three quarters, yeah. press it. Okay. Or fold it up once, press it, then fold it up again, press it, and then just, just you stitch can, you can it. just stitch round it. Yeah. Um, from the inside, you just put it on your machine that way, and, and then just, just stitch, stitch all the way around brilliant. in a circle. Sorry, we've had to rush that yeah. last bit, but we do have the material yeah, built for shortly, so that's going to be a little bit delayed. Yeah. So if you're watching that, that could be delayed. So anyway, I hope you've all managed to make yes. sort of a box yeah tissue box shape yeah i hope i think most of you have i'm sure you have yeah maybe i'll turn it into a switch <laughs> glass down the line to yes. get it clearer but yeah Dad do, says you ladies could do with a strong brew <laughs> yeah. I think we could. so don't forget to share yours when you've done it please share them no matter what it looks like no, but sometimes yeah. i'm glad when there's mistakes yeah because it shows you how to fix yeah. it or you can then figure out where you've gone wrong where yeah. we've gone wrong and then if you've done the same yeah you can see. You know now for next time yeah. as well. Yeah. yeah. So please share them. We'd love to see them. See definitely. how they turn out. Yeah. Make sure you hem it, as yeah. we say. Hem so it first. finishes it off and then, yeah, share them if you Do, want it to. It does work quite well. It does work. It does work <laughs> it's made well. a few. I have made a few. It does work quite well. Here we well. go. When you measure twice and cut yeah. once, it works. Before you, do your, before you do your seam as well, before you do your hem at the bottom, press your seams open. All right. You'll All find right. it easier. Yeah. Press your seams. Um, Open. says where do we post it just post Stick it on the facebook, on the facebook group. page yeah uh, well before you do your hem just but yeah just press your seams open you'll find it easier to yeah. turn your hem up okay yeah Shirley says right thanks for my first live went to get <laughs> from but well, it does cover the box all right does, well brilliant we'd like to see it yes definitely and do oh, another one yeah <laughs> okay well thank you for watching so we'll see you in a few minutes yes bye